Let's talk about Gardner Minshew. He gets a two-year deal with the Las Vegas Raiders. You wonder how they were going to address their quarterback position, how and when, maybe in the draft, maybe fringe, maybe be a trade. No. Ladies and gentlemen, the Las Vegas Raiders are going all in on Minshew Mania for the quarterback position in 2024. <laughs> It's Minshew Mania 2.0. Some fans are upset that it's not Justin Fields, that it's not Russell Wilson. But I think the Raiders are about to do something no one saw coming. We'll get into that at the very end. So this happened out of nowhere on the first day of free agency. Garnu Minshew is going to be signed to a two-year contract with the Las Vegas Raiders. It's a $25 million deal that includes $15 million fully guaranteed. That says a lot. That says a lot about what this dude means for this football team in 2024. Minshew is going to be dealing with Max Crosby, who had a little altercation with the quarterback last year. Max Crosby kept calling the man a little boy. Little last boy. Dude, Max Crosby is so damn angry. He just calls, he keeps calling everybody little ass boy. Hey, little ass boy. I'm like, I'm little out here, but not always, you know? <laughs> Minshew is a charming man who tends to make some provocative jokes. Hey baby, you wanna come take a ride with the Mississippi Mud Flat? You can sometimes find videos of him shirtless playing with a sword. Sit, sit, sit. Or sometimes he'll be shaking his ass in the locker room after a big W. He does bring a lot of energy, and you can tell that the teammates love this guy, and this dude is always freaking pumped up. He has so much energy that sometimes he walks around in the locker room in just a freaking jock strap. He was just choosing, he used to be in the locker room stretching in a, in a jock strap. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I was like, like that, you know what I mean? He must think he must think we're still in college. That's, that's some college things, you know what I mean? But that's his ritual, and uh, I'm used to it now. Whatever make him throw 88%, he can have it. So I'm not gonna stop. Let's hope he's not walking in a freaking jock strap next to Devontae Adams. The ladies also love this guy, especially the Cougars, the older ladies. Man lives in a van in the off season. He lives in Naples, Florida. He parks this van in a gym parking lot in South Florida. And in his free time, he runs routes on the beach with his friends and he plays pickleball against women that are older than him. And he said, sometimes I have to check my competitive <laughs> edge because when those ladies approach the net, they better back up. It makes sense that the former Washington State Cougar also likes hanging out with real Cougars. What was so hilarious is when they talked about this pickleball story, this announcer commented on that and what he said was way too foul. Are you talking, I'm, I'm visualizing Garner Mitchell smashing an old lady with a pickleball right now. You cannot say that out loud. You cannot say you're visualizing Gardner Minshew smashing old ladies at pickleball, of course. I bring all this up to say that he's a fun guy and it seems like teammates get along with him. He's been a career backup, drafted in the sixth round of 2019 by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the thing about Gardner Minshew is low key. He is able to move. He is able to make plays with his legs, extend plays and find some people open down the field. This is a famous play that happened with him in Jacksonville. He realizes if I get sacked, we've got a field goal. But I can make a play if I make a smart play. And the fact that when he... He has steadily been able to do this throughout his career. At his time with Jacksonville, when he filled in for Nick Foles after Nick Foles was injured and he had to take over. And also when he served as a backup for the Philadelphia Eagles, having to back up Jalen Hurts. And then most recently with the Indianapolis Colts, he still was able to extend plays with his legs, but did not rush the football as much. However, he had three touchdowns on the ground. Minshew's biggest problem is sometimes he can make big mistakes while he's in the pocket. He did improve on this last year with the Indianapolis Colts. He had to fill in for the injured Anthony Richardson. 
Shane Steichen, the head coach of the Colts, was originally part of the Philadelphia Eagles as their offensive coordinator while they were rocking with Jalen Hurts. And he had Minshew as a backup, decided to bring him on with the Indianapolis Colts. And it worked out for them because they were really just a few plays away from beating CJ Stroud and the Houston Texans and making the playoffs. Minshew was able to beat the Raiders last year. And this is a Raiders defense that was really dominant towards the end of the season. And he famously defeated the Oakland Raiders in 2019. There were some BS calls where they ruled Derek Carr out of bounds. Uh, thanks for bringing that up, Jerry. That's uh, it's the most ridiculous call that I've been associated with. But Minshew, nonetheless, as a rookie six-round pick, was able to defeat the Raiders in their final game in Oakland. So he did screw us over back then. You got Trevor Lawrence, who essentially took his job with the Jacksonville Jags. But Gardner Minshew's career touchdowns, 59, 90 passer rating, almost 10,000 yards. That's very similar to a guy like Trevor Lawrence who had 11,000 yards, similar touchdowns, and a worse passer rating and pretty much the same record. And think about Garner Minshew making the Pro Bowl last year as an alternate with the Indianapolis Colts. This is a guy who was not even supposed to be the starter. Anthony Richardson was supposed to be the starter. He still took advantage of the opportunity and was able to deliver and be a Pro Bowler. And even though that doesn't mean the same as it did mean back in the day when being a Pro Bowler was a big deal, he still made it nonetheless. One thing I've noticed is how Jacksonville Jags fans still respect Garnu Minshew. You have people on Twitter saying that they're happy to see him get paid. You have another guy say he's stoked to see Minshew in Vegas. And I think you're going to have a lot of Jags fans root for this guy. Check him out in Las Vegas. Some people think it's going to be a quarterback competition between Aiden O'Connell and Garnu Minshew. I don't think so. I think the guy has the job locked down. You're giving him $15 million guaranteed. That means you're guaranteeing him just at least one season and if anything a little extra on top of that the Raiders are taking a gamble on this guy because he has not been a day one starter but he has proven that he could fill in in a pinch he has filled in for Nick Foles filled in for Anthony Richardson and if the Raiders did decide to trade up or draft their franchise quarterback at pick 13 and if they found their guy who they believe could start week one if worse comes to worse and the guy deals with the injury you know Garner Minshew was going to be there and allow you to compete for a playoff spot no matter what but I personally based on the contract based on how he performed last year and also based on the fact that the Raiders have Luke Getze the former Bears offensive coordinator as their current offensive coordinator I think somebody like Minshew who can extend plays with his legs does fit his scheme I think the Raiders are going all in on Minshew mania for at least this one season and I think they should I think he's going to be an upgrade over Aiden O'Connell definitely going to be an upgrade over Jimmy Garoppolo and personally even though Michael Pittman is a great wide receiver last year with the Colts Minshew has not been able to throw to anybody as talented as Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers in my opinion so yes this dude is a career backup he's not really a franchise quarterback who's going to be your dude for 10 years five years but he is a solid bridge quarterback and he's going to have the opportunity to completely shock the world and at 27 years old with this low investment, why not take a chance on the guy? Why not see if this guy could completely flip the script, ball out with the Raiders who are currently a defensive team with a lot of investment on the defensive side of the football and make some people scratch their heads wondering why they did not take a chance on Mr. Gardner Minshew. In my opinion, it's never been realistic to think that the Raiders should trade up to get a quarterback. Obviously, all these other teams want a quarterback and they're picking well ahead of the Raiders who are at pick 13 right now now but I still believe it leaves the door open to draft somebody like Bo Nix or Michael Penix Jr. at pick 13 and based on Minshew's contract it'd be wise to let that quarterback sit for a year get acclimated to the NFL and let Minshew see if he can lead this team to a wild card spot. As long as Minshew could eliminate some of these erratic throws where he throws it too short, throws it too far, he has shown that he could be a playmaker in this league at the NFL level. And also in some ways, even though he can be erratic, you gotta respect the aggressiveness. And I think the fact that the Raiders have an amazing wide receiver core, the aggressiveness of Garner Minshew is going to be more of a benefit than a detriment. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Are you glad that the Raiders grab Gardner Minshew over a Justin Fields or a Russell Wilson or a Kirk Cousins. I think this deal has the chance to have a super high ceiling and at the end of the day has a really low floor. Subscribe to this channel for more NFL content from me, Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.